Hi students, welcome all. In our last video, we will talk about molecules. In this video, we will talk about elements. The element of the term is used by scientist Robert Boyle. He is best known for the Boyle's law. In our periodic table, there are 118 elements. So, in the 118 elements, 94 elements occur naturally and 24 elements are synthesized artificially in the lab. In the 94 elements, this method is a naturally occurring element. When it combined with the other element, it is used as a medicine for a diarrhea. Now, let us see some example for element. Common salt. We use the kitchen salt. That is sodium chloride. That is NaCl. NaCl is sodium and chlorine. This sodium is in room temperature. Water react reacts. It will burn vigorously. That is very dangerous. And chlorine. It is a green poisonous gas. So, sodium and chlorine are dangerous. And sodium chloride are the same thing. We use the kitchen to use common salt. Next to water, H2O. And the water is the hydrogen and oxygen. The two gas. The two are the water molecules. Next to magnesium and phosphorus. This is the element for making crackers. Use Next is sulfur. In the element manure agricultural land le use panranga. Gallium abdingra element mobile phone tayari kerdeki use panranga. Silicon abdingra element vandu computer chips tayari kerdeki anti use panranga. In the element muna classify panranga. They are metals, non metals and metalloids. Ipan nama metals pati pakla. In the metals nama tools la utensils la jewelry la use pandrom anga enna na element of metals use pannirukanga appadina silver copper iron gold and aluminium in the metals nama hammer pandrathu moolama nalla oongi adikkaradhu moolama ho illa roll pandrathu moolama ho or material vandu thanoda shape vandu maathikidha adha than nama malleable appdi solrom appdi maatha mudhu adha bend panni or thin sheets of wire ku nama kondu varom that wire is a good conductor of heat and electricity. In the metals, one the usual are generally hard or shining. So they are copper, lead, tin, nickel, iron, zinc, gold, magnesium, and calcium. So they are generally hard and shining. And exceptional one is one thing is sodium, which is a soft type. Next, all metals may be room temperature is solid. This copper, lead, tin, this silver, copper, iron, gold. This is the room temperature is solid. And this is exceptional mercury, which is liquid at the room temperature. In the thermometer, mercury is room temperature and liquid. Now, let's talk about non-metals. These non-metals are generally dull and soft in nature. And shining is the hardest substance of diamond. The non-metals are a poor conductor of heat and electricity. And this is exceptional graphite, which is a non-metal carbon. This is the non-metals are a good conductor of heat and electricity. Next, non-metals one, it can be a solid, it can be a liquid or it can be a gas. So, non-metals la solid which is at room temperature is a carbon, iodine, sulfur and phosphorus. In the non solid room temperature is a non-metal. Next, non-metals la one one room temperature liquid other than bromine. अर्थ तो जाना हम मेटलाइट्स पति पाकला इन द मेटलाइट्स ला बहुत ओ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स और नॉन मेटल्स वंदे एक्सिबिटेड आह दे फॉर एक्साम्पल सिलिकॉन आर्सेनिक एंटीमनी बोरॉन जर्मेनियम और टेलोरियम ओके इन द वीडियो ला नम्मा एलिमेंट्स ना है ना एवरो एलिमेंट्स रुके नैचुरल सिंथेसिस � and the element of the classification is metals and non-metals and metalloids. I hope you understand these concepts well. In the next video, we will see the difference between metals and non-metals. Thank you for watching.